Meghan Markle's 40th birthday, a look at her style transformation. Sign up for now and never miss the top stories again. Subscribe. We use your sign up to provide content in ways you have consented to and to improve our understanding of you. This may include adverts from us and third parties based on our understanding. You can unsubscribe at any time. More info. Megan, who is turning 40 today, will surely receive congratulatory messages from members of the family today, according to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams. The commentator told Express.co.uk. I am sure members of the family will send birthday greetings to Megan. Related articles Family live. Megan not missing Queen on 40th birthday. But Mr. Fitzwilliams went on noting the relations between the Sussexes and the firm have been dealt a heavy blow. He said, however, regarding their relations with her and Harry, the last year is not one which they will look back on with undiluted pleasure, to paraphrase a famous quote from the Queen's Annus Horribilis. The interview on Oprah has been extremely damaging to the family. They must hope that relations improve in the future months, but the Sussexes' unpredictability and handling of the media will remain a cause for considerable concern. In his remarks, Mr. Fitzwilliams referred to the historic speech delivered by the Queen in 1992, a year she extraordinarily addressed as Horribilis in a speech at Guildhall marking the 40th anniversary of her accession. She said, 1992 is not a year on which I shall look back with undiluted pleasure. Speculation over a possible rift between the Sussexes and the Cambridges started in late 2018, when Meghan and Harry announced their intention to move out of Nottingham Cottage and relocate to Frogmore Cottage. During 2019, reports of tensions between Harry and William continued to emerge, and, in October that year, the Duke of Sussex admitted he and his brother were on different parts. Read more. Prince Harry set for UK return in 10 years, make his way back home. Related articles Family live. Harry buys Meghan extravagant birthday cake. But Prince Harry and Meghan lifted the lid on their relationship with the royals and the institution of monarchy several months later, during their interview with Oprah Winfrey. Speaking to the US journalist, the Duke of Sussex repeated he and his brother are on different paths, and their relationship at that moment was one of space. He also said he felt let down by his father Prince Charles. Asked why they had taken the extraordinary decision to quit as senior royals one year prior, Prince Harry said it was due to lack of support and lack of understanding. Don't miss Anne's tense exchange with Charles over Harry. Full scale row insight. Meghan Markle told her book not suitable for children report. Meghan Markle net worth. How Prince Harry's wife made her minions analysis. Meghan Markle and Harry. Expert on biggest threat to couple. During their two hour long tell all chat, Prince Harry and Meghan also launched damaging accusations of neglect and racism against the family. However, the couple strove to make clear their relationship with the Queen was still good, despite their royal exit and tensions with other members. In another interview, this time released in February with James Corden, Prince Harry said he had been regularly in touch with Her Majesty and she'd even sent Archie a waffle maker he desired as a Christmas present. Meghan, who gave birth to Lilibet Lily Diana in early June, has not returned to the UK since March 2020, when she completed her last ever engagements as senior royals. Prince Harry, on the other hand, met his relatives face to face on two occasions at the funeral of Prince Philip in April and at the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue in July. The latter trip to the UK in particular raised hopes among royal watchers the Dukes of Cambridge and Sussex may be open for a reconciliation, as the brothers appear to be in high spirits as they mark their late mother's 60th birthday. Prince Harry and Meghan, who became residents in the star-studded neighbourhood of Montecito in Santa Barbara last summer, have remained tight-lipped over their plans for the Duchess milestone birthday. Earlier this week it was claimed Meghan wanted a small gathering with approximately 65 guests. Trending. The celebrations, a source claimed, would be organized by Colin Cowie, a famous party planner for A-listers.
However, other sources told page 6 there is no gathering planned in Montecito. The Duchess wishes to celebrate her birthday in a low-key way, the publication reported.